Hello, friends of Rotating Copper, and welcome to our webinar session, Lifecycle Services for Motors and Generators. My name is Markus. I was working 10 years in the field servicing such kind of super large and critical machines before I went to consulting and sales department. Let's start with the information why Lifecycle Services might be so important for such machines. Those machines we are focusing on are very large and critical. They are driving the core of your production, which means when these machines are down, the plant is down. For sure, those machines are made for 30 years of operation and beyond, but they also need to be maintained and kept in a good condition. These machines are also facing a lot of operational challenges, like tough ambient conditions, also strange things impacted by the operation from the driven machine or the conflicting requirements between operations and maintenance. The machine condition itself plays an important role for planning maintenance measures and operation. So guys, today we selected a so-called preventive overhaul which is corresponding to our level three, which means a complete disassembly of the machine. And as a highlight, we selected a 40 megawatt synchronous machine with a salient pole rotor. We find such kind of machines more than 500 times across the globe. So it's likely that you are operating one of those machines. The following service we are showing, we suggest to perform between 12 and 15 years of operation. And now it's time to switch over to my colleague and friend Christian. He is right now in the service center of factory Dynamowerk, and they will show us how these things will be done. Let's take a close look across Christian's shoulders how this is done. Thank you, Markus, and welcome from my side. I'm also a big fan of rotating equipment. My name is Christian, a former field service engineer who has been traveling around the world for more than 12 years installing, servicing these special electrical machines. Around two years ago, I changed to motor service sales department. Let me say thank you first to the Dynamowerk and the Dynamowerk service team. Here in Berlin, they're building high quality electrical machines for more than 100 years. These guys really know what they are doing. Which brings me to the main topic of today. Right behind me, you see our training machine, which we will completely strip down and perform all the required measurement and inspections during a major overhaul. You would like to know how it works? Stay with us. Air duct is off, bearing panels are off. Next thing we have to do, open the bearings on drive end and on drive end. We have some monitoring equipment installed, like temperature probes or vibration probes. Take care not to harm this equipment. Also not scratch the bearing insulation, the bearing shell or the shaft short. Afterwards we will mount our extension shaft on drive end and on drive end, support the rotor, dismantle lower bearing parts. The big move is just ahead separation of rotor and stator.
Hello and welcome back. We set up our components here for inspection. I'm standing here in front of the stator. In this case, the stator remains on the base frame. Now our experts can start the inspection. Winding, overhang and stator core. My colleague Silvio is checking the tightness of the slot wedges. We will also do electrical testing, which we call winding diagnosis. Winding diagnosis can also be done when the machine is complete. Use these former measurements for trending. What can be only done in the dismantled condition is thorough cleaning. Let's come to our rotor. In this case here, we have a saline pole rotor. The pole shoe here is turning with sonic speed. It's really worse to be checked after 12 years of operation. Our experts can check now all the relevant parts, like pole supports, pole connector, and so on. Electrical testing and a thorough cleaning round it up. We will do a full bearing inspection with all required measurements. Mechanical measurements, like bearing clearances. Electrical measurements, like bearing insulation visual inspection of the shell. We go even deeper and perform a dye penetration test, which is my colleague doing right now in the background. Okay guys, let's wrap it up. All wear and defective parts will be exchanged during that overhaul. Please make sure availability and usability of spare parts. All activities will be brought together in a service report. Also, future recommendations will be given. Repeating services create a clear service history. Use former services for trending. Our experts have the deep knowledge to carry out all these tasks. And furthermore, they can react if there are any findings or deviations. You should really stick with Siemens. Do you think we can put it back together? Yeah, we did it! Back to you, Markus. Wow, thank you, Christian and team. This was impressive. And I like every time watching when large parts are getting moved around. And the best thing is for you guys, your maintenance team can be sent over to Berlin for enhanced on training and can experience each and every step of this kind of overhaul and grab a lot of information from our supervisors. So, now the machine is ready for installation and commissioning. And after our overhaul, this shall be done without any bad surprise. Also, this can be tricky because sometimes the machines are installed offshore in hazardous areas or in a very tight ambient because the site was constructed around the machine later. So you also face a lot of pipework, cable trays, narrow spaces and concrete structures. But here in that point, you can participate and benefit from our experience. Our guys are doing installations and services since years for these machines. They will help you in planning maintenance measures and keep the overhaul duration short and make a good and efficient shutdown. Also, everything will be carried out according to factory procedures here. So, Coming to our complete lifecycle services portfolio, we can help you with maintenance planning and consulting. You have seen we are carrying out the maintenance plus the supervision. Spare parts availability from OEM is important, especially when the machine is very old and already phased out. You still get original OEM spare parts from us. You can stretch the time frame between the shutdowns when you put on your 
existing condition monitoring system, some advanced modules from us, and take some expert advices on evaluations. The last point I want to mention is a large lifecycle extension program where a spare machine gets swapped in for the original machine, which gets an offline overhaul. Or we can even replace the machine with a power increased retrofit to fit to nowadays operational needs. So guys, and now it's your turn. Please check out the age of your machines the operational hours. Go to your spare parts inventory and check if everything is there and in a condition to be used. Also, your latest maintenance protocols will have a lot of information what needs to be done next. And then you contact us in our local Siemens LDA offices. And my colleagues and me, we would be pleased to receive some calls and assist you with maintenance planning. Thanks for watching.